very obvious, isn't it, when you look at it and you kind of think the biggest problem with Meghan Markle is sheer jealousy. There's no two ways about it. She felt that she was going to go in to the British monarchy and take over, basically, you know, make it her own. This was the platform that was going to make her a superstar. But, you know, in some respects, her dream has come true. She has become world famous or infamous, as some people might say. But more importantly, how did she arrive at this point? And more importantly, again, why seemingly does she detest the Princess of Wales, Catherine, so much? We did a little bit of digging and it's amazing, isn't it, what you find out and more importantly, the things that these alleged tell-all gossip books just skip over because, as we've often said here on the show, it simply doesn't suit their narrative. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you today. And as ever, thank you so much for joining me. Lovely to have your company. Welcome, one and all, brand new subscribers. I know I say this often, but make everybody welcome. Keep it clean. We don't like any bad language and we are a friendly group. Feel free to share things, you know, recipes, fun, memories, that sort of stuff. It's what it's all about, basically. Now, what's interesting here, you know, I do find this fascinating, in fact, because when you think about it, you could see that Catherine, the Princess of Wales, very much tried her best to make sure that she felt Meghan Markle was indeed welcome within the British monarchy. We told you before how His Majesty the King, King Charles, had tried his utmost best to make sure he too uh, showed an open door. Our late and wonderful monarch, Her Majesty the Queen, couldn't have done any more. In fact, she broke rules simply to accommodate Prince Harry. She did have a soft spot for him. He wasn't the favorite, whatever he thought, but you know, she definitely wanted to make it work for him. And that's what she did. She tried her very best. But what's interesting here is that Meghan herself was literally petrified with inside the royal family. And it's nothing to do with sheer nerves or having the gall or the gusto, whatever. She simply was petrified to be caught out. And here's the reason why. See, when Meghan eventually got herself, well, shall we say, through the door of the British monarchy, naturally big invitations came forward. And she was very keen to certainly meet people that she felt were important to her quest, her push, her power, all that sort of stuff. That's the reason why we saw the likes, in her mind at least, of power players like Oprah Winfrey and George and Amal Clooney. Didn't really know them, but you know, Harry had met them, so that was kind of good enough for her. Now what's interesting here is that amongst all of that battering around, people were in the family trying to reach out and make sure that she felt welcome. None other than Catherine's parents. Uh, that is, of course, uh, the Middletons. Now, when you think about it, Carol and Michael come across as a very easy down to earth and very approachable couple. Everybody who's met them says the same thing. They're very discreet, uh, kept their counsel, and more importantly, you can have a conversation knowing it's simply not going to be repeated. Now, over three occasions, Carol and Michael invited Harry and Meghan to their home, that is right in Bucklebury, and they basically each time went to great lengths to make sure that favourite foods were put on, uh, you know, the favourite meals, whatever they would want, etc. And each time on the 11th hour, it literally was just pulled, literally, at the 11th hour. So they decided on an informal gathering, perhaps just tea, maybe just drinks sat on the, in their garden. Again, each single time polled. And the reason being, apparently, according to a very well-placed source, was that Meghan herself was absolutely petrified of being in such close company. Nothing to do with nerves or fear or anything like that, but she knew she would have to explain her background, and she was petrified about that. None more so than even when Doria arrived here in England, once again, Carol and Michael offered the hand of friendship, saying, would Doria like to stay with them? After all, in-laws, etc. You get the picture. No, that wasn't going to be acceptable. She didn't want Doria out of her sight. So again, the Middleton suggested that maybe Meghan would like to stay with them. No, that wasn't going to be happening. So you can see all along, Meghan Markle has made sure that she's cultivated a distance from the people that she feels, and as ever we have to say allegedly, could have exposed things long before it actually got to this. Fascinating when you think, so easy to find, and more importantly, not included in tell-all salacious books. I wonder why. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.